Hello everybody, this is Gino. I'm here on my Uncle Julio and Auntie Chris's property on River Road at the Similkabeen River out with uh, Odin and Friga here, my two dogs. I'm going to let them walk off leash and I'm going to try to handle the camera and show you just how extensive this uh, only way to describe it would be a geological event because it's not just a landslide. There's land separation and uh, heaving and all sorts of stuff. So I'd be curious to find out what exactly happened here, but uh, I believe it's a lot more extensive than most people know. So I'm going to try and film this hopefully in one shot without having to put the camera away, but here we go. Come on, Odin. Come on, Friga. Got everything I was carrying with me shoved in my pockets, so I may, I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll try. As you can see, these trees have fallen, and this is the start of it, and this, uh, it's not a slide, it didn't slide here, the land heaved up, as you can see from the top of the hill here. That's the old road base there. The uh, road base did not, uh, oh, one sec here, I'm losing everything just like I thought I might. Just a moment while I grab my leashes and pop. Odin, free guy, stay close, please. Kind of worried one of them's going to twist the paw in here, but we'll try and do this. There was a bit of a deer trail beat through here, I guess, since it's happened, but yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, far end of it, you know, away from town. I'm walking towards Princeton right now across from the horse pasture. Got to keep tabs on my dogs while I do this too, people, so don't mind me if the uh, camera goes in the wrong directions, but a couple more big trees upended over there. This is what we're walking on. There's a collapse. You gotta watch where you step here. Huh. Yeah. Take a look at that, eh? The land just lifted up. It's like a mountain is growing here or something. This just goes on and on as you can see. Well, I'm taking the path of least resistance here, so, uh, yeah, here's the river. I'm going to try and get down here. Old alluvial bench lifted up here. Lucky prospector here, He's uh, if he can get to it. Probably some good gold kicking around here. It just keeps going. Look at that. Everything cracked and just kind of flipped into the river. Uh, I'm going to try to get over here so you can see this. You see how wide the river is over there. It starts bottlenecking here. That's where the first of the events seems to have occurred. And yeah. Just bottlenecks right there for about 100 yards. And uh, yeah, that's really rough. But that thing goes right around the corner there past the point you see in the distance. Well, let's keep walking. And trying to follow an old tra uh, trail here that's been beaten in by the animals. Go on, Friga, move. Friga, move, please. Come on, Friga. Okay, Odin's doing okay. As you can see, it just keeps going and going. I'm just looking for that path. There we go. Okay, girls, come on, you guys stay close. Oh, great. I've lost three guys' leash. It's not worth going back for. I'm just going to go find it by another one. 
I'll find it later when I come through again or someone else will say woohoo. As you can see, real steep here now down to the river. And this is way higher than the elevation used to be. That's why I'm saying the ground lifted up and fell at the same time. I'll walk through these gullies. All right, go on. Wait. Yeah, destruction everywhere. Awesome, the power of Mother Nature when she gets a temper tantrum, eh? We're still walking through this. This is still going on. This is actually the worst part of it here, but main part. I walked about a kilometer and a half, maybe two kilometers after the uh, slide where we started this video. Well, I'm down on my knees. Let me go back up on my feet. Ah, there we go. That was kind of hairy. I think that's the end of the dangerous part of the walk. And the road's okay for a little while, but we're gonna keep going and get a really good look at what's going on here. All the sandstone there broke off the edge and now fills the Samilkameen, making this a real deep and narrow channel here now. This guy here is trying to protect his property with his backhoe now. And the river widens up up ahead. But uh, this is going to be real interesting in high water to see what happens here. And we're going to keep walking. There's still more to see. And we're just going to put 100 yards before it starts to heave up again in a second spot. You can see up there, there's some heaving up there. Along the hill, there you go, more down trees. Ground heaving up there. This ground sunk over here. You can see the depression made by this tree. We're free just standing. Big crack in the ground here. Someone coming in with a quad filled it with some wood. More cracking. Now the road surface starts to get really uneven here. The whole hillside just slumped in. Here's a view from this side. Friga! You can see where the ground is all broken up over there. That's the end of that narrow channel. Here's where it widens out. You guys got have property problems there, I think, unless uh, the government steps in and maybe does something to shore up or rewiden the river in that area. But now as you can see this road is tilted completely to one side. It's heaved up, not down. Which is really weird how this happened. I don't quite get it. We're approaching the end of it now. Some more cracks in the ground. And then it, it seems to have heaved really good up here. This seems to be like the toe of this uh, event as you can see trees down around here so many trees down and you look up here and there's this giant crevice going up the hill and that's about the extent of what happened here pretty crazy roads normal from here on out Talk to you later. It took 10 minutes to go across this whole geological event.